Welcome to Wednesdays with Wayne, and I'm here with Jessica Niemeyer on this bright, cool, brisk uh, October morning. Beautiful day. At a very special place. Yes. Where are we at, Jessica? We are at the Korean Veterans Memorial here in Hebron, Indiana, just off of 231. And I think this is a place that people pass by daily, but they don't quite know the significance of the whole Veterans Memorial Parkway. So give me a little bit of history about it for Sure. So the Veterans Memorial Parkway was designated in 1994 uh, by an act of the Indiana General Assembly led by Senator Sue Lansky. And it's a 15 mile strip of um, roadway starting in Hebron, ending in St. John. And this is a work in progress. Absolutely. Because I think the inspiration was the Vietnam Veterans uh, uh, Memorial down the street at Stony Run. That's correct. That was the first memorial. And then this plot of land that we're on now was donated by Bob and Pat Ross. Um, and that's when they decided we can continue adding, money, adding memorials to honor those who have served and fallen for our country. Yeah. So this really honors those who served as well as the peacemakers, from what I understand. And um, it's a very special place. So let's take a little bit of a walk through here, uh, giving the history of the Korean War. And then I think on the other side, we have a lot of those who died in service. From Lake County. Mm -hmm. From Lake County, absolutely. And again, people pass by here all the time, and I, I just don't think we take the time to, to stop by and, and remember why we're all here. It's because of all the sacrifices that were made by all these people uh, that, that served you that's know, in right. all the wars, and actually. That's, that's part of the um, mission of the Veterans Memorial Parkway Commission is to help those in our community remember, honor those, um, and, and just not forget about all of those who have, have sacrificed their, their lives or their, their service to their country. The organization is all volunteers, is that correct? That's correct. Um, I know that years ago when this was starting, I did serve with your father, yes. and uh, I was very honored to, to do that, and I served on quite a few different committees with him, and this was one that was taking a lot of work, a lot of volunteer time, and uh, a ton of donated hours and materials to create this memorial. That's correct. So this um, particular uh, memorial was, um, the dedication was in 2003. Um, we have the beautiful pillars and, of course, the wall remembering those who have um, lost their lives. But, as you know, with any big project, sometimes you run out of money. Yes. <laughs> and at the end, that was definitely the case. Um, so, what this memorial could have been at that time, including the landscaping, just wasn't an option. Yeah. I believe the pillars represent each of the services within the, or each of the branches within the service. That's correct. Yeah. And let's take a quick look here then um, at the garden that was created. Um, yes. I, I know that in the beginning, as you mentioned, the land was donated in the background. Uh, we've got two acres, I believe, here from the Ross family. That's correct. Uh, this was done in kind of a native prairie. A um, little bit of invasives have moved in, but, you know, it's it maintained the integrity of that, that prairie style. And then I think the formal garden then that we've developed uh, tries to tie in with the sustainability movement, with natives, things like this. So that was the importance to me of creating the garden uh, in memory of John. Yes. We're standing in the garden that Jessica had asked me to do some design work for and come up with a concept. Again, this particular garden is reflective of the sustainability and the prairie right across the sidewalk here. Community spacing with all the plants, so everything is put very close together to help us with maintenance and so forth. And through the generous donation of RLM, uh, they installed this entire piece, uh, put kind of cleaned everything up, put the edging on and so forth. And Jessica, tell me the significance of the garden to you. As we had talked about, when this original memorial was dedicated, the funds for any landscaping were already gone. Um, unfortunately, my father unexpectedly passed away last year, and he was a founding member of the Parkway. Um, we had all of his, uh, the donations made by family and friends in his honor, go to the Veterans Memorial Parkway Commission, and the commission itself wanted to do something to remember my dad. 
Um, I was the family representative and this seemed like a perfect opportunity to not only create a space for the community and for the memorial, but also honor my father. Yeah. So, but we wouldn't have been able to do it without the donations and support and help, especially of RLM, for their time and effort for Niemeyer's with their donations of plants and um, expertise. Um, but again, we wanted a place that we could remember my dad um, in the way that he would want to be remembered. It's a very special place. I know your dad was a very humble man. Again, I served on different committees with him over decades, actually. So uh, he was a great person. This is a very beautiful place. It's a place to, to honor all of those who served. Jessica, a few final thoughts as we're standing here on this beautiful morning. This, this has been far exceeded my expectations. Um, it's a beautiful place for not only remembering, um, but learning about um, those who have served for our country, um, but also to bring in interest from the community. Um, we would have not, I'm just so grateful for all the help to make this possible. And I believe there is a program, a public program coming up. There is, the Veterans Memorial Parkway Committee is, will be hosting a Veterans Day program on Saturday, November 9th at 12 p.m right here at this site. And if people want to get involved, they can either volunteer their time and or they can make Absolutely. donations, Absolutely. correct? Absolutely. To the if, parkway. On vetparkway.com, there is a link to learn all about the com Parkway Commission and um, also um, a place where you can offer to volunteer your, your time or your money. That's awesome. Uh, it's a wonderful tribute to your father, wonderful tribute to all the veterans who serve. So I want to thank you for joining Wednesdays with Wayne, sponsored by Niemeyer's Landscape Supply. And remember, beautiful landscapes start here.